Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know, a moment to stop in our busy lives and listen to God. First, let me read to you from the Bible. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he's done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. The most unhelpful thing you can say to a person who's worrying is, don't worry. I'm sure it's often meant in a kindly way, but it actually increases the problems to the person who's worrying. Not only have they got all their worries, but now they have to feel guilty about it as well. Paul doesn't fall into the trap of giving useless advice, because he shows us the way out. He tells the Philippians that there is no need to worry because they can pray about everything. If you place your concerns in God's hands, then you can look to the future with confidence and thanksgiving. Jesus also recognised that worrying was a significant issue for his followers. He pointed out that it was a waste of time. He asked the question, can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Worrying never achieves anything. I rather like the poster which reads, Worrying is stupid. It's like walking around with an umbrella waiting for it to rain. (laughs) But Jesus went further and observed that there's absolutely no need to worry because God provides perfectly for all our needs. He pointed to the birds and lilies of the field and reasoned that if God could look after them, then he could clearly look after human beings. The outcome of trusting God is not merely that the worries disappear, but that they are replaced by peace. Those are amazing words, and I hope that is your personal experience. I was rushed into hospital a few years ago with sepsis. My blood was poisoned and my heart was racing at an unsustainable speed. As the medics treated me, it was clear that I was in serious danger. And I thank God that I was overwhelmed with peace. That isn't something that I could have produced because there was nothing peaceful about the situation. It was God's gift. And I pray that you will take hold of that peace, whatever you face. Let me pray with you. Loving God, thank you that you can replace our worries with your miraculous gift of peace. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day here on Premier for Be Still and Know.